Live from Don't Ever Bank Your Field in Croxton Skull, Florida, it's time for some mutant football. It's hard for me to figure out what my favorite part of coming to Florida is. The best part of Florida is leaving so you can read the headlines instead of witnessing them. This is the only place that the nuclear wasteland actually improved. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Carcass City Creeps take on the Crocs and Skull Jugulars. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Bricks, do you smell something burning? Uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the post and to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toast oven. That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. Bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, sure. Now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. Not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. A nice run there for eight yards. And that'll bring up second and one. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more like the coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. Second down, and the offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Third down and long. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my offseason. Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? They play, you moron. He said balls, not bells. That's a 
killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Uh, I'm not saying the ref has been bribed, but he drove out of the field in a brand new hearse. They're going for it. On it's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. Jeez, I could make a kick that easy. Hell, I could make a kick that easy, and I didn't even have feet. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hey. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Yeah. Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. Get on, get on, get on, get on. And it's first and ten. Hot. First down to five. It's two yard run before he stopped. Second and three. Looks like a pass and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crunch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That first down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection.
Second down and 10. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third and two. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. We've got a nail biter at the end of one. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. He could go all the way. He's at the 10, and the defense is on his heels. Well, they say humans are the best dancers. Are we invented the engine? Really? I thought it was demons. No, it was a human possessed by a demon. He's on his pedal now. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. That's a pass and catch for no gain. Then how is it a pass? Second down and ten. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he like original or extra crispy? Now it looks like extra crispy. And he just got run over by a freight train. Now it's just a race for the loose ball. First and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and ten. 
Smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. The quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First down and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Good thing that he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. The warning sounds only two minutes left in the first half. And it's first and ten. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Hold oh, everything. The defense erases the previous play by transporting the offense back in time. I heard that Time Warp Dirty Trick uses advanced alien black hole technology. Yeah, your entire life is one big black hole. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Nobody can touch me when 
fireball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? They're going for two points. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Well, I don't think just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Rex. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic person. You know, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer! Keska say, what the fuck the fuck the fuck? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about the smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out? And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the refs some cash. The quarterback goes into a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And that is caught for a first down. And it's first. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Quinn. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And the passing game picking up some steam. A gain of seven there. Second. And that's it. That's the last timeout. It's score or die from here out. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, great throw. Great catch. And that puts six points on the board. The defense could do anything. Aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Satan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. We are back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. Here comes the kicker. Oh, 
I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip well. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Pass and catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. Third down and look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. His only chance, if he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho Killer Keska Say. What the fu 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 fuck? And four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Still no, it's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo yo of doom? No, my friend, I didn't. I love this job. Now, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners, man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the murder ball dirty trick. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and the punter is warming up. He should apply for the Mutant Volleyball League. Hey, uh, don't give the fans any ideas. The commission already spends all day on Twitter shooting down rumors. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. They let the punt drop, and it will be downed by the defense. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second down and two. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. And he just wrestles away. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And that's a run for no gain.
Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. And that's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score and move the chains. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. First down and six. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown! Hey, remember that skeleton lap dance you had at that totally bone strip club last year, Graham? <laughs> yeah, she said for 20 bucks, I'll take it all off. I didn't know she met her head. That was uh, kind of weird. <laughs> now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. And the defense holds that pass play to only two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show. Third down, the QB is saying his prayers. Hot one, hot two, eight. He's not going down. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he really... Oh, 
sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Okay, no, man. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he's running like a moose right now. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And this guy is on fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. And this guy is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 10. That is such bullshit. This game is bucket red. They tied a pro. They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, Grim. These guys are doing fine by themselves. Second down in a line. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down in a mile. And like a monkey trying to... If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit. Second down and six. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's 
first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And that player has one speed. He's the bullet and his cleats are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle. Dirty trick called by the D, and the offense is pissed. <laughs> oh, for you kids at home, that's how you play mutant football. Hey, wait a minute. What the? Ah, uh, the D. What speed? Engage. What are you trying to push your third fan base to pass? He's off to the races. <laughs> and the ref is picking up a wad of singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he got those, Grim? Didn't you see him stripping on the sidelines? <laughs> He's bribed, you idiot. <laughs> And this is a person, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Kabam! Man, the defender just lays a vicious hit on the receiver and jars the ball loose. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One, hot two, hot. That's a catch for a four-yard gain. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. And it's a that, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. What does that support on your time? And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this pass for me. Not much there, maybe a yard. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. Third down and, well, good luck. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And it's first and ten. <laughs> well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. <laughs> He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Oh, the defender almost picked up the ball on that one.
And the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Third down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. And he picks up about six on the play. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. And the jugulars just got their butts handed to them and lose the game in front of their home team fans. They fought tooth and nail, but in the end, lose by three. It's a hell of a thing losing at home. They took away all they've got and all they're ever going to have. Yeah, well, they played like shit. Fuck them. Fuck them indeed, Junior. Let's go down the field and see what that meathead has to say about his MVP award. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every other.